My name is Perry Bulwer. Uh, I'm um, talking to you from my hometown, Port Alberni, small little mill town on Vancouver Island, very remote. And it happens to be the place where I joined the infamous Children of God cult when I was 16 years old. That was in 1972. Um, a lot of people even here in town after my book came out uh, last month, I did a signing at our local independent bookstore. A lot of people were shocked that there was a cult here in town back then. It's a very little known story. Mm -hmm. And overall, um, uh, Rachel, you mentioned in your intro now, and also you mentioned similar. Uh, I listened to a, a, a podcast you did with Daniela Mestinik Young, mm -hmm. who was uh, born into the Children of God. Mm -hmm. And in that um, podcast, you made the same similar comment that this is a little known story that more people should know about. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of, that's one of the, my motives for writing the book. And there's others, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just here to uh, tell the story and I'm really glad that you're um, giving me this chance to uh, bring some attention to it because it's far more than just my story. Mm -hmm. It's more about the story of, as you said, the walking wounded, uh, primarily thousands of children who were born in this group who still today suffer the consequences. And of course, uh, um, the people who, like me who joined and the, the terminology we used, which is now common throughout the, the world of cult studies, first generation, second generation, I think that started in the Children of God cult. Um, but I, even though I was 16 when I joined, I was considered a, a first generation because I did join. And I use that word when I in writing with quotation marks oh, yeah. because nobody really joins a cult, but it's a convenient yeah. way. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, you know, obviously the first generation, thousands of them have suffered too, but nothing like the children. Mm -hmm. of the children of God. Mm -hmm. It's a, a it's a devastating story and it continues today. And so I and one of the main motives for writing my story was to highlight their stories. Mm -hmm. Not to speak mm -hmm. for them, but right. to support them and to confirm what they've been saying for years, to confirm their stories of abuse and um and to be an advocate for them. Mm -hmm. So that's, in a nutshell, who I am and what I'm doing with this story.